So it'll be first down here after the run. Shift together here from the D-line. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. Give him four on the carry there at second and goal. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons, it looms. They can do whatever they want, full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try to put it in that way. They'll need to get the playoff quickly. On second down, Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? And he atones for his miss the first time around as this one is up and good to extend their lead. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now the Packers get set to go. And two interceptions already here in this first half. Well, that's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. We just saw another example of how the defense is winning this game. Really at the point of attack, the offensive line is just getting pushed around. I think now as a play caller, you've got to give them a little bit of help. Maybe you keep your tight ends a little bit more. Maybe the running backs help you a little bit with the pass blocking. But you've got to help them get some confidence because you can't abandon the play calling right now. Quick pass play there on the slant, Charles. Works out well for the offense. The offense loves it. The defender hates it. Hard to get through the body of the receiver to get to the football trying to cover a slant. He's got Adams on the hookup. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Show some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. Here's Rodgers. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And this is caught. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. Randall Cobb, 61 yards. And the Packers are back with it, a score. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. And that'll make it 13-7. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense, and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. The slot man in motion right. And the slot man goes in motion left. 
They start on the ground with Elliott. Takes it to the 26, just a one-yard gain. Mike Daniels makes the tackle. A one-yard gain could look like a disaster, but it all depends on how the game is going. Is it a series of one-yard gains running the ball? If that's the case, you might have to start thinking about throwing it a little bit more. But if it's just the occasional one-yard run, hey, congratulations to the defense. They won that one. Come back and get them the next time. And they'll send the slot in motion left. Slot man moves right. Again, it's Elliott. And he is going to lose yardage here. That'll go as a loss of five. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. There are so many times during camp and practice that you get bored as a player doing regular drills. But how about that shed and skate drill right there by the linebacker? You do it each and every day, get the blocker away, and get into the backfield and make a big-time tackle. That's what we just saw. And this one caught by Daz Bryant. And for Ha Ha Clinton Dix, he had 80 of those tackles this past season, five interceptions. Got him to a Pro Bowl in his hometown of Orlando. How about that? That's got to be an incredible thrill for Ha Ha Clinton Dix to be able to come back to his hometown. He played at Dr. Phillips High in Orlando before going off to the University of Alabama and playing the Pro Bowl in front of all of his friends and family. And he's going to be a huge building block for Green Bay in 2017. Him at the safety position, about to get better at the corners. But, of course, Clay Matthews is still there, too, terrorizing quarterbacks. And this will be taken at the 13. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We're back to Lambeau following these words. run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Throwing now is Rodgers. He's going to loft one deep left side here. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect. But as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. So the incomplete pass brings up second down. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. Rodgers will try again on second down. He gets it over the middle to Cobb. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Simple slant route and part of a really nice hard throw by the quarterback. Nice timing between the quarterback and the receiver. They were perfectly in sync, and he put it right on him on the inside route. Completed pass on second down. Now it's third down as the defense looks for the stop. Three -night team. Switch, switch, switch. Reset. Switch, switch. Rogers to throw on third and one. Incomplete. He had his hands on it, but couldn't pick it. But it's now fourth down. I know that interception was dropped, and it would have been their third of the game. And I will guarantee you, in the huddle, on the bench, all the defensive guys have been talking about is, we've got this guy right where we want him. Who's going to get the next one? It almost becomes a challenge, and they've missed a golden opportunity. So on fourth down, here's Jake Shum to put it away. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. Only 29 yards on the punt there. Definitely not his best. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now with a game this close, You've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Prescott on first down. Blitz coming and down he goes. LaTroy Guyon with a great push up front. He picks up the sack at a loss of eight. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before.